at LA Cosplay Con in Long Beach. I've been taking pictures, I'll put pictures up and all that good stuff as well. Um, yes. So we'll see how things go and I'll tell you about it. Apparently they got Ghostbusters on, on Rock Band? I'm here at LA Cosplay Con with uh, Nicole and the cosplay corgi, Kiba. <laughs> Nicole, uh, is this is this is Kiba, yes? Yes. Okay, how old is Kiba? How long has he been cosplaying? Uh, he, he's she? Six, he's he. Uh, he's six years old. He's been cosplaying for about three years now. That's fantastic. Do you make the costumes? For the most part, yeah. Most of them I do. Um, we have a couple that are store-bought and we just kind of modified them and tweaked them the way we needed. Um, and I've had friends that made some costumes for him too. Fantastic. So what's your favorite costume that you've had him do? Um, my favorite is, of course, Legend of Zelda. He has a link. Um, and then my next one is Dogpool. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh man, I'm I'm excited for this. Uh, so, if people wanted to find like photographs and social media and things, where would they look? Um, Facebook, Kiba. It's just facebook.com backslash Kiba the Corgi. Um, we're on Instagram as Nicole and Kiba. Um, we're also on Twitter as Kiba the Corgi. Um, and then we have a website, uh, cosplay cor or Corgi Cosplay.com. Fantastic. All right. Well, thanks very much. Oh, thank you. Things are slowly starting to pick up. Uh, I got here almost at opening, so there weren't a terrible lot of people. But things are uh, picking up and looking better. It's doing all right. We got some pretty fantastic cosplays going on so far. We've also got the Velcro wall. Oh man. There's the Velcro wall. There's a Jack Frost over there. But then there's also the uh, arena. The, you know the one. The one where nobody can actually stand on the pedestal for long enough to strike the other person. But that's okay. So this seems to be the extent of the convention. Which I suppose is fair. It's a one day con, they can't have the whole place as well. These are two friends of mine. Um, friends that I met at Firestorm Free Running and Acrobatics, actually, I'll put a link in the description. But uh, they were also friends that are, well, one of them is a super good acrobat and the other is also a super good acrobat. And uh, we're also here at LA Cosplay Con together. How are you guys doing? Doing all right? Wonderful. Good to see you. Good to see him. Thank you. How are you, Vincent? I mean, you know, I'm at LA Cosplay Con. I can't really disagree with it. <laughs> that is, yeah, you know, if you found yourself disagreeing with Cosplay Con, you have a problem. Yeah, right, right. Lisa, tell me about your costume. I am Zero Suit Samus. Fantastic. A variation of the Smash Brothers Samus. So I have the, the jet heels and the little matching bracelets. Fantastic. Did you make it? We did make parts of it, and then the bodysuit, we bought it, but then we actually put like the, the glow-in-the-dark material on it. Fantastic. The alternate. <laughs> okay, good show, good show. Yeah. What about the props here? I see you've got a Metroid yeah. and a blaster. So this was actually sent to me by somebody. Nah, <laughs> you have and admirers, do you? I do. And then we made the blaster out of a Nerf gun. Fantastic, so I'd have it no other way. So I'll shoot you. Come on. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Fantastic. Okay. And what about yourself, sir? Are you going to be doing any cosplay anytime soon? Yeah, that's not the right answer, though. No, it's not today. I would have, I would have wore. Um, I have a battle heart in Luigi. It comes with like a military, uh, army helmet, as it were. But um, I just, I wanted to do something different. And within that week of time and all of the work I have, yeah. <laughs> I, I have failed to put together a new cosplay for it today. So. Right. That was the case as well. I was at home and I was like, what am I wearing? I guess I have to wear some old crap. That is, yeah, yeah. Right. I, I could have done it, but I chose, I chose against it. I figured we're going to be here for 11 hours. I do not want to be in overalls for 11 hours. With the mustache. Yeah, With don't I? Like, spirit come to my lip. Yeah. I don't blame you at all. All right. Well, uh, for the people who are looking for this kind of thing, where would we find you guys on uh, social media and all that? Um, Instagram. You can look at Playboy Lisa Finelli. I've got it right here. Yeah, I'm beautiful. <laughs> uh, let's get in on that like that. Brilliant. All right, well, wonderful. Thank you guys very much. Of course, thank you.
Time has progressed a little bit. Now there are more people. Things are a little bit more bustling, you can tell. There have been some fantastic cosplayers. A lot more people fighting up on the thing. Hey, Dead Space! And, uh, Evil Dead. Evil Dead Space! Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking pretty good. Just came from a panel on YouTube and how uh, to be good at it. It's kind of nice. Like, they had a lot of really good information and took a lot of notes down. So maybe my YouTube will turn out better in the future. Here's fingers crossed. I'm going to go back down to the bit where all the other cosplayers are and take some more pictures and videos. And we're back. Since I left and then came back, things have slowed down, it seems, which is interesting. Poor Lisa is all alone. Oh no. I'm here with Michelle LaBelle, another of the fantastic cosplayers at LA Cosplay Con. Michelle, tell me, how long have you been cosplaying? Um, I started cosplaying in 2005. My very first comic book convention ever was Megacon in Orlando. Oh, Megacon. What a fantastic con. Okay, so I see that you've got a lot of Batman-related uh, costumery going on. Do you do things that are not DC as well? I do. I actually do some Disney characters. I've done Tinkerbell. I do a really fabulous sleigh of Leia. <laughs> um, I've also done Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I've done um, Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah, so when I'm not a DC character, I'm a Disney character generally. Although I have done Black Widow. I love Black Widow. Hey, nothing wrong with that one. So then what's the favorite costume that you've ever done? My favorite costume that I've ever done, um, I think it's this one. <laughs> this is my Masquerade Ball Harley Quinn. It's fantastic. Um, I had the skirt was custom made by my good friend Kelly Renee Miller, who is also a cosplayer. She did a steampunk, a steampunk Jessica Rabbit. Hey. And I really loved her skirt and her bustle. So I was like, can you do something like that for me, but Harley Quinn? And she was like, yeah. And so she made this wonderful uh, skirt for me that you see. And uh, we, we went together to Santi Alley and bought all the materials. And then she made it for me. We did a trade. So I traded this skirt for personal training sessions because I'm a personal trainer. Hey, fantastic. All right. Well, so suppose somebody wanted to find you on social media. How would we go about doing that? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter is at M-D-E-E-D-I-V-I-N-E, -E -E, that's M-D Divine, at Twitter uh, and Instagram. And then you can look me up, Michelle LaBelle is my page on Facebook. I also, I also have an online store at Society6, so just look up Michelle LaBelle at Society6, where you can get some of my prints, or you can get my lovely mug on an iPhone case, or a tote bag. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy the show. <laughs> I am here with Madame Caprice Rothi, who is part of another fantastic movement in the cosplay community. What's your movement called? Makersville. Makersville. Fantastic. So tell me about your background. My background is theater. Fantastic. And ballet. And Ooh, so ballet. I became a mime in my 20s. And an alien specialist in Hollywood. Hey, wonderful. I actually choreographed the aliens for the movie Cocoon. Really? And I was E.T.'s hand, so I would be E.T. That's fantastic. That's my 15 minutes of fame. But now I'm working with Makersville, and what we do is we help young people be creative. Anything that they want to make, we can help them do it. Fantastic. And from anywhere from Legos, sewing, cosplay, um, latex mask making, uh, what else do we teach? We teach uh, programming, we teach video game design, animation, graphics. Wow. My background is also graphics. I, that was my major in college. <laughs> That's fantastic. So I had a kind of a checkered career between teaching, performing, and 
drawing. Well, jack of all trades, exactly. right? Exactly. Well, Renaissance guy. Yeah. We'll take that one, right? So this is some of the artwork. And I'm teaching a graphics class this summer. Hey, fantastic. So, and then later on in the, in the summer, a class called Wearable Art. So they can take the graphics that they've created and make a silk screen and then put it on some clothes that they make or a backpack or something like that. Sounds like it's a really good piece of outreach. How would someone go about taking one of your classes if they were interested? Makersville.net. Makersville.net. Okay. It'll give you all the information. We have a square up. We have a discount for anybody who goes and gets on our email list. And uh, we teach classes every month of the year. In the summer, we're in a different location, but during the school year, we're actually at the Sea Base, which is the Boy Scout base. Hey, that's and not our bad. our program is Learning Through Life, which is part of the Boy Scouts of America. Okay. But it includes girls and older kids. I would have it no other way. All right. Well, thank you very much. You bet. And you want to talk to Trish because she's the founder of Makers. I will speak to her. If we wanted to find you on social media, how would we do it? We have a Facebook page called Makers. Okay, so that'd be facebook.com slash Makersville. Yeah. Thanks very much. You bet. Thank you. This is Thermofax, which is the, the latest in, in silk screen. Fantastic. This is actually a tessellation. So we made a, them to fit together. So each student made a tessellation, and they all fit together. That's really cool. In one big uh, piece of material, and then they, they sewed something with that material. And this is all you have to do is draw with a carbon-based pencil or a laser printer and then you can put it and it run it through a heat source. It may call Thermofax. Thermofax. And this was made with that a silk screen. This was made with a silk screen. Wonderful. And my scarf. <laughs> I am here with uh, Trish, who is also part of that fantastic organization. It's called Makersville. Makersville. Can I have you tell me a little bit of your background, please? Sure. I uh, understood or found out about the maker movement in 2012, and ever since then, I, I realized I was a maker, I am a maker, I make things all the time. Start anyway, huh? Got a lot of things going all the time, and I've created this organization. So the thing I make most is uh, communities. Hey, yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and then we have a sewing program. This so summer we have cosplay, we have uh, Lego, we have um, Arduino robotics. We have all kinds of crazy things being made, including video game design and stuff. That's fantastic. Stuff. So come to our Make a Space. Wonderful. Where can we find your Make a Space? Uh, at the Seaport Marina Hotel, 2nd and PCH, and you can look us up on makersville.net. Fantastic. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we're getting close to the end of where we're going to be staying uh, because I'm starting to get hungry and we're both getting tired. It's good, you know. But uh, we've been having a good time. Pretty decent, right? Uh, yes. Decent. Pretty decent is a good way of putting that. I'd say pretty decent. It's not bad. But yeah, um, so I'm going to do probably like one more walk through to get some more footage and pictures and things that I'll put into the video and then that will be the end of my video about this thing. Okay, so I have one very special request. You made a quote earlier today. Can you remember that quote? Oh, the one about the thing. <laughs> and about the thing, about uh, what your costume is. Yeah, okay. It was... Uh, so, so, what exactly are you cosplaying as? Well, I'm wearing an amalgamation of couch... Car uh, what was it? Couch, curtain, and lazy boy. <laughs> my, my costume is, is made out of a bunch of upholstery fabric um, that I inherited from a person. But uh, it's good. Shut up! I feel I feel like I should call you the upholstery assassin. Because you look like you murdered an upholstery shop to build that coat. I may or may not have done just that. We're leaving. We're leaving the convention. I got tired. It's a one-day con, and it's small, so I can't really blame it for, for whatever perceived faults there may be. But it was fun. I got to hang out with some neat people. There were a lot of really good cosplays. I interviewed some pretty neat people as well, so... Uh, yeah.